Alright, hello everybody. Uh, I am re-recording this video because for some reason YouTube made the audio kind of quiet. Um, it wasn't that quiet on the actual file itself, so I just had to, you know, turn up the mic volume and hopefully it's better this time. So, in this video, um, we're going to be starting off our exploration of arithmetic functions. And in the second video, I actually talk about some some of the definitions, right? But I just want to start off with this problem that sort of um, introduces the concept. So an arithmetic function just takes inputs in the natural numbers. And so here we're given a function from the natural numbers to the natural numbers, and we're given that it's bijective, which means that every uh, every natural number input has a unique natural number output, and every natural number output has a unique natural number input. We're also given that f of xy equals f of x times f of y, which in the lingo means f is a completely multiplicative function. We can use this property and the fundamental theorem of arithmetic to take something like f of 2015 and break it up into uh, multiples of f, f of smaller numbers, right? So we know that 2015 factors into 5 times 13 times 31. So f of 2015, we can use this rule repeatedly to break down f of 2015, which is 42. We could say 42 is f of 5 times f of 13 times f of 31. Now, our goal is to find the minimum value of f of 2000. And by minimum value, this essentially is hinting at the fact that the information we're given doesn't give us what f is precisely, but, but there are choices we can make to make f of 2000 as small as it can be. In particular, we see that f of 2000, right, if we use this rule, f of 2000 is going to depend on f of 2 and f of 5. Because 2000 factors into uh, multiples of 2 and 5. So f of 2000 will factor into multiples of f of 2 and f of 5. And here, we're given f of 5 in relation to 42. In particular, f of 5 must divide into 42. So we want f of 5 to be as small as possible. Well, the smallest number, or the smallest natural number, that would divide into 42 would be 1. However, we can, we can see that f of 5 can't be 1 by finding another thing that maps to 1. In particular, if we take this equation here and we plug in x and y are equal to 1, we would get that f of 1 is equal to f of 1 times f of 1. Now, f of 1 is some natural number, and the only natural number that is equal to its own square is 1. So therefore, f of 1 is equal to 1. And since f is bijective, that means no other natural number can map to 1. So f of 5 can't be equal to 1. The next smallest choice would be f of 5 is equal to 2. And this is a perfectly valid choice. So now we want to find out what will be the smallest value of f of 2 can be. Well, now we have that f of 13 and f of 31, these multiply to 21. And since neither of these can be 1, that means neither of them can be 21, because if one of these were 21, that would force the other one to be 1. So one of these is going to be assigned to 3, and the other is going to be assigned to 7. Now, it doesn't matter which one is which, it just matters that these numbers can't be equal to f of 2. So if we're looking at what f of 2 can be, we know it can't be 1, and it can't be 2, because 1 and 5 already map to it. And it can't be 3, because either 13 or 31 maps to it. Well, how about 4? 
nothing so far indicates that something is mapping to 4, except for we can use this relationship to show that f of 25 is, in fact, equal to 4, because f of 25 is going to be f of 5 times f of 5, and f of 5 is equal to 2, so this is 2 times 2, which is 4. So, since this is bijective, that means f of 2 can't be equal to 4. And the next smallest option would be 5. So, f of 2 is equal to 5. Finally, all we have to do is break down 2,000, right? Uh, 2,000 is going to be 2 to the 4 times 5 cubed, which means f of 2,000 since f of 2 is 5, it's going to be 5 to the 4, and f of 5 is 2, so it's going to be 2 cubed, and this is 5,000. So, I hope you all enjoy this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.